design lovers, I am at Maxmar Window Fashions showroom, one of the largest blind manufacturers here in Canada. In today's video, we are diving into the world of blinds to help you find the perfect fit for your home. We will be taking a closer look at the three most popular types of blinds – roller shades, zebra or dual shades, and sunset shades. Plus, we will delve into different cassette styles, room darkening options, child safety features, and motorization possibilities. And don't forget, there is a bonus surprise waiting for you at the end of the video. So let's not waste any more time, let's get started! I have Amir Maradi, National Sales Manager at Maxmar Window Fashions, joining me today and answering all my questions. Hi Maria, welcome to Maxmar. Thank you. I've observed that many struggle with deciding on blinds due to a lack of insight into their composition, functionality. So we are here today to craft a video to assess the blinds based on the main criteria. Privacy, light filtering, room darkening option, versatility and overall look. Let's start with the roller shade and how much privacy they provide. Roller shade comes with different types of fabrics. Some are light filtering, as we know, as we call them, and some are room darkening. So there is a big choice there, and each, each type has a lot of selections available okay. in the whole collection. So when you have a, you go to a screen fabric, they're known as screens, they're pretty open. So the privacy is very little. So when you see the outside a little bit, but then from the outside they can see the inside if the light is on. Oh, I see. Yeah, but they do cut out the glare, so you don't feel like you're living in a fishbowl. Now let's talk about uh, room darkening options. Okay, as we said, we have two options for room darkening on the roller shades. Okay. One is to select a room darkening fabric. They basically cut out the light. But we have a proprietary product called the Opera System which basically is two shades in one special cassette. And what the advantage it does is that you have one shade in the front, which is light filtering to fit the decor and everything. And when you want to cut out the light, you bring down the shade in the back, which is a room darkening fabric. And this option gives you a total light control. I see, that would be such a great option for a bedroom or even for a family room if you get a lot of glare from the TV. Just talking about the upper cassette, uh, it's good to know that this is a very compact cassette. It's only two and three quarters at inch at the top, so it fits into most window frames to the inside. And all, we also have an offering of different types of cassettes, okay. which some of them relies on the size of the blind. We have a compact cassette, we have a large cassette for bigger windows, and then we also have cassettes that are flat. We have contoured cassettes and we have square cassettes which are flat on the surface depending on what works best for that environment. And we also have a cassette called the Grande cassette, which is a big cassette for large windows with big capacity. I see, that's great to have so many choices. Uh, what I actually noticed that many people when they're getting estimates from different blind companies, they don't realize that uh, um, they're not comparing apples to apples because the price of an open roll roller shade can be very much different from the, uh, from the price with the roller shade with the cassette. Yes, absolutely, because the cassette has a cost, but it finishes the product. You don't see the tube, you don't see the roll, it gives you a nice finished look. No, absolutely, it looks much nicer. Yeah. I would like also to mention angry. that I, we have a finish on all our cassette called the Mirage Finish, which gives us a nice matte finish, so it, it's not that shiny finish that you see in all spray painted cassettes. And another option that's available on most cassettes is that they can be fabric wrapped to match the fabric underneath them. Yeah, that's a great option. People love it. Amir, in terms of the application, our roller shades uh, can be used uh, uh, for commercial projects? Yes, they can actually. They can be used for commercial projects of all sizes. And we have a great selection of fabrics that are fire rated so they meet the requirements of a commercial application. 
Oh, that's wonderful. That's really good to know. How about special windows and patio doors? Yes, they can be done. We actually do offer specialty shapes like arches, eyebrows for roller shades, and they can be also used for patio doors because we have a lot of fabrics that are pretty wide mm -hmm. and they can fit in patio doors of many sizes. Oh, that's good. I think roller shades are sleek, very minim minimalistic and can blend into any interior. Now it's time to move to the dual shades. These blinds are the most popular ones and there are many reasons why. First of all, they are very versatile and easy to use. They can go all the way up, all the way down, and also they can stop anywhere in between. You can control the amount of privacy that you need. You can have them fully overlapping for 100% privacy or less, depending on your mood. They also come in a variety of uh, different colors and textures. Amir, do these blinds have a blackout option? Yes, Maria, they certainly do. We, there are two options there. One is a fabric that has room darkening bands. And when they overlap, they will dim out the room. The better option, always an opera cassette, where it's the same as a roller shade. It's a two-in-one shade, which is also available on the dual shades. And it gives you the fabric that you want, light filtering in the front. And there is a room darkening fabric in the back. Can I demonstrate? Sure, please. Okay. So now you will see the room darkening fabric coming down and this will darken the room. As you mentioned before, they're great for bedrooms, for family rooms where they have a large screen TV and the glare doesn't let you watch anything. I have a question. Yes. For example, if uh, people are ordering this type of blind and they want to have it motorized, uh, how many motors do they need? Every shade needs one motor, basically. So if you have two shades like this in an opera, you need two motors Okay. in an opera shade room darkening. If it's a regular shade, you only need one motor. But people can choose uh, either they want uh, a dual shade to be uh, motorized or the um, opera portion, like a blackout portion to be motorized, right? You have an option. Okay. You can have one of them motorized. Oh, that's if beautiful. If that's a preference. And the other one will be a manual shade. In most cases, both gets motorized, but the option is there. You can have the front or the back motorized and the other one with a manual operation. Are there different types of cassettes that are available for this product? Yes, definitely. Very similar to the roller shades, we offer different type of cassettes for the dual shades. It comes in a compact cassette, large cassette, and we offer them with a contoured front, or we also offer what is known as a square cassette with a flat front. And these, fab these ones that are contoured can be fabric covered too. Okay, that's a really good option, as many people would like it. Uh, I also wanted to ask you about specialty windows and patio doors. We do offer specialty shapes for all dual shades. And very similar to the rollers, we offer them in arches, eyebrows, all kinds of shapes can be made. What about patio doors? Patio doors, yes. It's a good application for patio doors because some of these fabrics go up to over 100 inches. So you can have them in one piece or you can have two shades in one headrail to operate as, uh, to, for your patio door okay. and make it usable. In terms of the look, it's simply beautiful. It can be used in both contemporary and traditional interiors. I think we covered dual shades. Let's move to the sunset shades. Okay, let's go for it. Let's talk privacy. How is it achieved here? The privacy with the sunset shade achieved, as you can see, you have basically open fabric in the middle and you have one louver in the middle but when it closes it, it will provide privacy when you put it in this position you can see the outside so to do the privacy you raise it a little bit and the louvers close and provide you with the privacy now if you want to raise the shade it always has to be raised in this closed position always has to be in the closed position you can pick it all the way up and you can stop anywhere anywhere you can stop anywhere and i'll bring it right down and when it comes all the way down, it goes into the open position. What about the size of the uh, louvers? The louvers come in two sizes. What you see here is a two inch louver. Okay. And then we have a wider one, which is three inch louver. Just a wider range. Oh, I see. Is that one over there? Exactly. Okay. This is the one here, which is a three inch louver. You can see the difference. 
Amir, what about room darkening option? Okay. Does this blind uh, have it? Well, the room darkening option with the sunset shade only comes with the upper version, which is basically the cassette that you see here. The same as the other products that we have, there is two shades in one cassette that will provide the room darkening. And in this case, I'll demonstrate the room darkening fabric. It will come down and it will cut out all the light. That provides total privacy. Sounds good. Uh, what about cassette options for sunset blinds? Okay, shades? I'll just raise this. The cassette option for the sunset blinds is basically a sunset cassette, which you see here. That's the only cassette available for the sunset. And of course, we have the Opera cassette, which is exclusive to the Opera application. Two shades in one. Amir, how about specialty uh, windows and patio doors? Okay, specialty shapes are available for sunset like all the other products, and you can see a good example here. This is basically an arch, and they can be made in that shape. For a patio door, these fabrics go up to 96 inches wide. So it's a good application for patio door. And remember, always in patio doors, you can have sh two shades in one cassette. So you can split the two parts of the patio door, one side for entry and exit, and the other side can remain closed. Oh yeah, that's right. That's very convenient, okay. actually. I like how elegant this blind looks. It will look great in a traditional, transitional, and also in a contemporary interior. Can we talk about child safety mechanisms since there are uh, new rules and regulations yes, from the absolutely. Canadian government? It's a very important subject right now. Uh, Health Canada introduced a law that was effective 1st of May 2022, and it's called the court law for corded window coverings. No window coverings can be made with a chain or a cord longer than eight inches. So, and that's the law. So uh, that basically limits to that effect. So anybody who's purchasing any blinds, if they're manual, just got to make sure that they have a compliant product. Every product that Maxmar sells is compliant with the new law. No, so of course. We have actually three generations of child safe mechanisms. One of them, the first generation was the Decora Safe. Inside an aluminum channel, we had the Genius system, has a pump action. And the latest one that came out and that's most popular is the Safeguard Plus, magnetic. Very really easy to operate. Yeah, and it's very really convenient to use. Make sure that the uh, open portion of the cord is only eight inches long and the rest should be covered. Yeah. And with Maxmore products, that's guaranteed because every product that we make in this facility meets the requirements of the new Health Canada law. Detailed video on how each mechanism works you can find on Maxmar YouTube channel. Let's explore motorization options. Since there are many people who would like to have their blinds motorized and also they have smart home systems in their home and it gets super, super confusing on which motor to get, will it work with their existing system, and so on and so forth. We're pretty simplified that with Maxmar. Uh, we offer three levels of motors. The first level, the entry level, is what is known as Solo A1. Solo A1 has a wand. The wand is attached to the side of the window, and you have to go to the window and push the button to operate the shade. It's motorized. It's an internal battery, it's a lithium ion battery. You plug it in, it takes about two, three hours to charge, and then it will last probably about nine months, depending on usage. So that's basically the Solo A1. With the Solo A1, there is a Bluetooth option available, which basically you get an app, you download the app on your phone, and you pair your blinds, and you can operate the shades without having to go to the wand, and you can operate your shade up or down through that app. Oh, that's a great option. Many, many people would love it. Remember that Bluetooth works when the phone is in the house. It's like your car. You know, you step out of the car, it doesn't hook up to the car anymore. So the Bluetooth option with the blinds or shades basically works when the phone is in the house. So you can't uh, uh, go on vacation and operate your blinds uh, through your phone. We will offer an option for that. Oh, okay. Okay. So the next level is the cool motion, which is the remote controlled shade. Same principle, it has internal batteries, lithium ion batteries that get about two, three hours to charge. They're all the same batteries. 
and they will last about nine months under normal use. So that one also has a Bluetooth option. So you can use the Bluetooth, has its own app, you download it, you pair your blinds, and you can operate it from your phone instead of the remote. Then you can go to the next level, which is known as a MaxLink controller. A MaxLink controller connects to the router in the home. Now, when you connect to a router, you're on the internet. It has a different app. Again, you pair all your blinds as you wish, but then you can operate it from anywhere in the world. When you're traveling, it has all kinds of scenarios, sunset, sundown. You can have them go up and down when you're away from the home to look as if somebody is there. Uh, there is two other options for motorization. Of course, these two that I mentioned are the most popular for residential applications. The other one, is known as a low voltage motor, we call it Dumlux. Mm -hmm. The Dumlux has to be wired, it has to be plugged in. So the most popular application is that when the new homes are being framed, it's much easier at that time to have the electrician run wires to the top of the windows and leave them there. Okay. So when you get the Dumlux motor, you go there, you connect them, and it gets plugged in at one location where the wires are, and goes into a power outlet. With that one, of course, there's no battery. So when there's no power, the lines don't operate. But that's also another great alternative for homes when you have multiple motors. I see. But it's better to think about this option ahead of time at the stage of uh, uh, like early stages of the renovation or construction. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Because to do it after the fact, to run the wires, it's not very practical. So the best time is to do it in advance when the house is being framed. And we have one other motor which has an application for very large blinds. It's called HWM. It has to plug into a 110 volt outlet. And that one is only for very large blinds. Oh. So these are what we know as max motors, the three level. So we have the solar one, we have the cool motion, and we have the dumb lux, and of course the 110 volt hardwired. We also carry a brand called Sanfi, which is very similar to these, but it's a brand and it's available through Max. Okay, thank you. Amir, is it possible to program the blinds so they open and close at a specific time? Absolutely. To be able to use that option, you have to use the MaxLink controller because it's through the internet and it allows you different scenes that you can set up. Timing is one of them. You can set it up with sunrise and sunset, or you can put them for specific times to go up and down at any time you wish. It's like a scenario that you built for your home to whatever you like. Many people worry about warranty. What kind of warranty Maxmar provides on its blinds and motors? The warranty, just to summarize the warranty, basically we offer a five-year warranty on all the fabrics, all the motors, all the transmitters and all that and there is a limited lifetime warranty on all the components and of course being a Canadian based company we're right here everything is in Toronto in this facility so the repairs if needed or changes can be done very quickly and expeditiously Oh, I see. No, I know for a fact because I've been uh, dealing with Maxmar uh, window fashions for a number of years their customer service is the best Oh, thank you Amir, thank you so much for guiding us through Maxmar products and for answering all my questions. Oh, you're very welcome. It was our pleasure. Thank you. I hope you've learned something new about the blinds today. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more design and renovation videos. As I promised at the beginning of the video, bonus surprise. 50% discount on all blinds until Thanksgiving. Call this number Click the link below to book your free in-home consultation. Use the promo code and claim your discount. Let's dress your windows. Bye for now.